Hey there, folks, Ben here, and I'm serving up a generous helping of royal mess for you to enjoy at your leisure. Let's dive headfirst into the Meghan, Harry, and the case of the mysterious christening photo so all-encompassing that it's made everyone under the sun go, Archie who? Rumor has it, the cherub we've all come to love and adore might just be a heavy-handed photoshop galore. First of all, I'd like to extend a massive thank you to each and every one of you who showers the channel with love and support. And if you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that like and subscribe, so you never miss out spicy updates again. And by the way, I'm sorry in advance if I sneeze halfway into a tea spill, which is bound to happen sooner or later. Thanks to our free photos from Getty Images, the reigning champion of everyday shenanigans, here to tell us that the portrait of the christening of the royal baby is a fake news masterwork, assuming Photoshop achieves masterwork status. Imagine photo forensic specialists, the CSI team of the photo world, such assling into question the authenticity of baptized little Archie's portrayals. The audacity of such an assertion not only shuffles over the royal portrait album but also the globes and put the finger of blame foremost of all at the door of the Duke and Duchess of Montecito. Factor shot in all the way through man Chris Allerton lends charge with photographing the a photograph under the microscope, and this thriller goes up a gear, extrude all uncertainty as we unravel this digital encomium beset royal cheating. In a firm reply to a pragmatic allegation from Getty concerning the christening portrait of baby Archie, Chris Allerton did not ton ensure to confirm, regarding the filled laughing image. Not a hope, it was a lot of cobblers or in simple terms, full of them. One outside the British band slang understanding can decipher cobbler as nonentity or mess Giddy's statements didn't halt at about point, the picture of the queen flanked with her little ones and granddaughters in the royal file also underwent Getty-controlled scrutiny. This increased to the point that fortune-saving money could be spared by cobblestone. This accelerated the vortex to the level where it was difficult to decide whether any other digital snapshot could safely space the determination of authenticity of royal regalia. The assumptions concerning Prince Louis's straight element are almost half hilarious. Nonetheless, it epitomizes the growing cynicism and examination the horror of the monogram imaging. The conclusions flung at Getty or the fake's question are mind-blowing. People will continue to question the authenticity of select royal imagery, know what they consider keepsakes and photographs, not fiction but evidence of the past for many. This folklore and breadth of knowledge concerning the crown strengthen the monarch's proximity. Successful, it would indicate if Getty's argument is valid that these images were deeply manipulated, then it would be a violation of trust the public had not seen before outside the most sensational invasions of privacy in the digital era. Its turning point may have ramifications for how the royal family relates with the general populace, leading to a new era where the modern king can be fully documented. There is something more about finding and removing small flaws from this image, it is the risk of manufacturing royal reality and the idea that there are some who simply cannot hold our safety driver. How can you envision Meghan now, praying that she will be able to modify the account of her son's baptism? To be honest, she would be almost completely repudiated by the people, perhaps beyond salvation. On the other hand, consider how the Blade of Vengeance Michael's opponents would feel real if their arguments were validated through this line of inquiry. They would have entire winged rooms at the Louvre given over to their absurdist rave the facts seemed so in several conspiracy forums. Indeed, Getty has reversed the image in a much simpler style, dismissing the feedback as unfounded on second hearing. This is how people in power respond, obscuring the facts with unexciting corporate jargon. This is the way it's usually handed down. Regardless, the harm has already been done and, in our opinion, public opinion will still never truly converge. If baby Archie is really Meghan's son or simply a creation to be paraded for photo ops, the law will still be surrounded, suspicion has been projected, which Duchess would choose not to have. The future development of the Sussex narrative remains unknown, 
and we will strive to provide regular updates and persuade individuals to have speculations about royal matters.